Question 28. A company advertises on a website. A worker tracked the number of visits to the website and the number of clicks on the advertisement. The table shows the data for several days. A linear function can be used to model the data. Website advertisement. So what does X represent? Que representa X? Number of visits to the website. Número de visitas al sitio web. And this is from the advertisement. Del anuncio. Okay, and here, number of clicks on the advertisement. Número de clicks en el anuncio. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this. Based on the table, what is the best prediction of the number of clicks on the advertisement if 1,500 people visited the website? Okay, so I have a number. Tengo un número. 1,500 people. Okay, 1,500 people. Let's look in the table. Vamos mirar en, el, en la tabla. People is X or Y. Uh, personas is X o Y. So this is number of visits to the website and this is number of clicks. Este es número de visitas y este es número de clicks. Okay, visits are from people. Okay, visitas es de personas. So people is X, right? So people visit, sorry. Here, do you see it says people visit? Visitas. So people visit. Visit X. So X is 1,500. So I need to predict the number of clicks. Necesito hacer una predicción por el número de clicks. And clicks is Y. Click is Y. So I need to find Y. So basically, if X is 1,500, what is Y? Básicamente, si X es 1,500, uh, ¿cuál es el Y? Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. To do this, you will need to make uh, an equation. Necesito una equación. In what form? En cual forma? Our favorite form, slope-intercept form. Nuestro forma favorita, slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So I need to find m, I need to find b. Necesito encontrar el m y luego el b. So part one, parte uno. I need to find m. Necesito m. Okay, so there is a formula for that. Hay una formula por eso, and it's on your formula sheet. So slope of a line is right over here. Slope, m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So let's do this. y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. I need a pair. Necesito un par. So any pair, cualquier par. I'm going to do this one and this one. Okay, it doesn't matter which pair, no importa cual par. So I'm going to write them down here. 471. Comma 30. And 307. 21. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. So remember always siempre X1, Y1, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Let's do this. Y2, 21, minus Y1, 30, divide X2, 307, minus X1, 471, 21 minus 30, 21 menos 30, 21 minus 30, negative 9, divide, now, 307 minus 471, negative 164. Altogether, todo juntos, negative 9, divide, negative 164. Okay, let's change it. Okay, I'll keep it like that. 9 divided by, you can change it to decimal or keep it. I'll leave it. 9 divided by 164. Okay, so that is my M. Okay, I have M, now I need B. Ahora necesito la B. So number two, I need B. The formula is Y equals MX plus B. So I need Y, X, um, M, right? Okay, my M is, mi M is right here. Nine divide one, six, four. 
I need X and Y, necesito X y Y. Pick one, uno, one, un par, one pair. I'll go ahead and do this one. It doesn't matter which pair, no importa cuál par. X is 307, Y21. X307, X307, Y21. B, I don't know, no sé la B. Let's solve. Y, 21 equals M, 9 divide 164, X, parenthesis 307, parenthesis plus B. Copy 21, copy equals. This part, the parenthesis will go in the calculator. So let's do this. So let me do, to do the control, divide. 9, down, 1, 6, 4, right, derecha, parenthesis, 307, parenthesis, enter. Okay, I'm going to do this one, 2, 7, 6, 3, divide 1, 6, 4, copy plus B. I want the B alone, quiero la B sola. This is positive. The opposite is negative, so minus two seven six three divide one six four copy minus two seven six three divide one six four calculator. Okay, twenty one minus that number. Let's see, twenty one minus. Oops. Do your fraction control divide. Two seven six three down one six four enter. I get a fraction. Let's change to decimal. Quiero decimal. Menu two decimal is one. Enter enter. I get four point one. Let me put it all. Voy a poner todo. So four point one five two four four equals this cancels. Copy B. And switch. B equals 4.15244. That's my B. Okay. That's part two. Part three. I'm going to do Y equals MX plus B. Change M, change B. Y equals M. This is M. 9 divide 164. 9 divide 164, copy X, copy plus B is this one, 4.15244. Okay, not done. No estamos terminados, not done. Now, I have a number for X, tengo número por X, 1,500. Let's put it in the formula. Vamos a poner este en la formula. So, part four, I have, remember, X is 1, 500. Recuerda que tengo X, 100, 500, right? So, we're going to go ahead and put that. So, Y equals 9 divide 1, 6, 4, no X, this number, parenthesis 1,500, parenthesis, plus 4.15244. Y equals, put that in the calculator, in la calculadora, So control divide to make the fraction. Nine down one six four to the right, parenthesis one five hundred plus four point one five two four four. Enter. I got eighty six point four six nine five. This is my answer here. This one. Right? This one right here. Okay, so I want a prediction. Quiero un predicción. So it's not going to be the exact number. No es el número exacto. But which one is the closest? Pero cuál es lo más cerca? Okay, so I have something like 86. Tengo como 86. Which one's the closest to 86? Cuál es lo más cerca de 86? This is the closest. 83 is the closest. Es lo más cerca de 86. So 83 is the closest to 86. That is the answer.